السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ When the Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said that death is actually انتقال من الدار الى الدار The result is that in Kashmiri, in Urdu, in Punjabi, in Malay, in every Muslim language when somebody dies we say وہ ان کا انتقال ہو گیا What does that mean? That he has died. But literally, what does that mean? It is the, exactly the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he has intaqala. He has moved from one home to another home. And this home where he has lived is Darifani. And the other home that he has gone to is Darul Baqa. So in that sense, those of you who are associated with Darul Hijra, you know Dar means place, the home. The home of the people who are immigrants. That's exactly what the whole America is. When, I was the found, when we were founding this institution, I was one of the founders. It was very exciting to name this place Darul Hijra because we believe that entire America is Darul Hijra, right? So I am here to express our condolence, sadness at the intiqal of Imam Hanuti on my behalf and on behalf of the Islamic Society of North America. This is to tell you that not only have you missed him, lost him, but it is the entire Islamic Ummah in North America who knew him, who benefited from him, and whose disappearance, his intiqal, will affect in many ways to the, for the entire Muslim Ummah in North America. My personal experience is that when uh, we were establishing this organization, Islamic Society of North America, we were welcoming scholars coming from different countries because we knew here in America we are building a new identity, a new community, a community of Hajj where you remember that when Malcolm X went to Hajj what impressed him most? That he saw blacks, whites, yellows, different colors of people in the Hajj and that he was impressed. And that's exactly what we have built here in America. So in 1978, when I saw him, I was immediately impressed that here you have a scholar who has come from the Muslim world, who is open to understand what are the opportunities, what are the possibilities for Muslims to create a respectable, a dignified, presence in North America because not many scholars at that time could appreciate that and some of the scholars continued to be negative, to be pessimistic but Imam Hanuti was clear about this and the result is what we did was that in order to provide a wholesome, constructive vision to our Muslims in America. We established the Islamic, Is Islamic Society of North America Fiqh Council. So we brought those Muslim scholars to come together who will discuss and debate and evolve a position about our understanding and our practice of Islam in this North America. He was among those. When I met him, I recommended that here is the scholar who can help us to move forward along shoulder to shoulder with American Muslim scholars who share the same vision. And all these decades I have seen him contributing in a very positive way in our developing that vision. Subhanallah. So that's why today I am here sharing with you this condolence, not only as what we lost here in Darul Hijra, but we lost on the national, the national level as a component 
as an integral part of the Isla of the Isna Fika Council of North America. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us in these difficult days to create that positive understanding because if we become negative, that would be a great curse, subhanallah, that we don't want. So therefore, there is a legacy that he has produced, that he has created. Not only Musanna, his son, and other 10 children, right? and about 20 grandchildren who have to bear this great responsibility of continuing the memory of Imam Hanuti. But it is the entire Muslim community in North America that will have to come forward. One of the ways that we have done whenever some scholar in America passes away, Whenever some leader passes away, we create a scholarship in their name. We create a chair in Islamic studies in some university. I am challenging Darul Hijra that together we should be able to create an entity, a scholarship or a chair in Islamic studies named Imam Hanuti, chair in Islamic studies. Agreed? Good, alhamdulillah, takbir. So this is my message, and inshallah we'll stand together for this message. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.